Now, South Africa's constitution is celebrated across the world for protecting the rights of the LGBTQIA plus community. In Africa, the country is often a home to most people seeking refuge to enjoy that freedom. And as the country commemorates 29, uh, 29 years of freedom, newlyweds Sibs and Lindy Malaba uh, share their love story with Newsroom Africa's Sukona Chona. Our love is just as worthy of being respected and accepted as any other person's, so, yeah. As if they are gatekeepers of faith, who can say, I phoned God, I talked to him, and he said, you two are going to hell, so I can't come to your wedding. Oh, sorry, by the blood of Jesus, I also have a direct line, I spoke to him as well, he said, it's fine. Hi, I'm Sibs. This is my wife, Lindy. Hi. <laughs> How did we meet? How did we meet? <laughs> we met through a friend of ours. A mutual friend of ours was visiting um, in Joburg. And then we met at... A we met at Centurion Chisanyama. Let's just be honest. <laughs> That's where we met. What drew me to her? I wasn't, it wasn't a thing. I don't know if I was necessarily interested or even looking. I think, well, from my side, it was our love of music. Um, I think that's something that both of us as individuals just really, we really love music. <laughs> so then our first conversations were actually about the music that was playing in the background and we were making jokes about that and that was the first time we kind of had a connection. And then the next day we met up again. Lo and behold, here comes Lindy. And then it was like, oh, this girl again. Um, wow. And she was sitting and I think she was picking her nails or something. And she was sitting next to me and it was the four of us at a table and we were all sort of having this conversation. And underneath the table, I just sort of reached out and I held her hand and I said, do you have anxiety? And she said, yes. And I said, okay, I'll hold your hand. And then from that moment, which was the second day that we had met, we never let go of one another's hands. Despite COVID, <laughs> we pushed through and we made a commitment to each other. And I think we both kind of knew that this was something worth working on. You know how COVID babies have come out like really strong, like COVID babies are walking faster, they're talking faster. They'd, I think it's the same thing with COVID relationships. We met and then my fellow South Africans happened a few days after and the president was like, I'm locking it down for the next 21 days, which is how long we thought it would last for, which was not it. And it was literally like, okay, we just met. Are you in or out? Okay, I'm in. In a time where as much as constitutionally we might, we might be protected um, in terms of um, being able to be together and love one another, but that doesn't really um, speak to, I suppose, the actual pulse of the people. Um, I was brought up in a Christian home, in a, a very religious like community, and those kinds of things, and from a very young age I was you know, taught that um, being gay or, yeah, just anything outside of the heterosexual standard was um, wrong and not acceptable and, you know, things like I'd go to hell and, you know, all of those kinds of things. So um, being able to grow up and hear those things and still um, choose yourself and you're the person that you love. Um, it's not an easy thing to do when um, there's so many voices coming from other directions externally telling you that what you're doing is wrong. So there's small things like we have to think really hard about traveling, for instance. We can't just go, oh, let's go to Uganda. I heard there's a festival there. Because as soon as we get there, they're definitely going to imprison us and we might die. Homosexuals have no space in Uganda. We have to sort of navigate, and I think queer people in general, have to navigate this world where you sort of are very hyper alert of the spaces where you're safe and the spaces where you're not safe. And I think that is a form of rejection in itself. I shouldn't be in exile right now. This is not where I would like to be. Normally, if you tell your family that you're engaged or you're planning to 
get married to somebody then that's when your family starts coming together we it's need all to all hands on deck it's like call the uncles and all of these things but for our for our situation it was different because it was met with the resistance of like oh okay since you guys chose to do this yeah go ahead good luck and do it but then in terms of like guidance and input like you know what should we do to like be respectful of our ancestors which are very meaningful to us as like black people now because we are queer then it becomes a pro- a problem or now no one knows what to do and then it's just an awkward like hey the thing kept being said ma you've chosen this lifestyle so you must live with the consequences us banman's not going to come oh your poor mother's uh, must be so embarrassed oh the shame the humiliation how dare you do this how can you bring the family into disrepute in this way this is so shameful this is so oh when i was at the altar and then sibs appeared from um the bottom of the <laughs> <laughs> when she appeared at the top of the staircase then that honestly that made it all worth it for me that was when i was able to say like okay this is what we you know put all of our like blood sweat and tears into for the past over a year of planning and now it's come to fruition in such a beautiful way because she looked spectacular my wedding day was perfect <laughs> OPW <laughs> was our my perfect our perfect perfect, perfect, perfect wedding, wedding. <laughs> There was a lot of joy in our wedding. There was a lot of celebration. There was a lot of love. The people who wanted to be there are the people who were meant to be there in a country that was, you know, the very first country in the world to legalize same-sex marriage. That's important. Um I think if we think about where we've come from as South Africans, there are many freedoms that were hard fought for. And this was one of them.